Hi, in this video we will see the divisibility test by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 11. So if a number is given, how do we determine whether that particular number is given by any of these numbers listed here? The divisibility test is very helpful when we are trying to prime factorize any given number. So let us see the divisibility test by 2. Divisibility test by 2 says that any number is divisible by 2 if the number is even. And when is the number even? The number is even when the last digit or the digit at the ones place is either 0 or 2 or 4, 6 or 8. So any number that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are divisible by 2. For example, 3, 8, 1, 8. It's an even number. The last digit is 8. It is divisible by 2 or maybe 100 or 1, 9, 9, 4. All these numbers are divisible by 2. Divisibility by 3. Divisibility by 3 says that a number is divisible by 3 if sum of all the digits in the number is divisible by 3. Let us take an example. Suppose the number is 7, 9, 8, 5 and 1. We have to find the sum of all the digits. So let us do 7 plus 9 plus 8, plus 5, plus 1. You can do it in your mind. 7 plus 9, 16, plus 8, 24, plus 5, 29, and 1, 30. And we know that 30 is very well divisible by 3. 30 divided by 3 gives us a 10. And hence, we can say that 7, 9, 8, 5, 1 is divisible by 3. Okay. Since the sum of the digits 30 is divisible by 3, therefore, the number is divisible by 3. I hope the divisibility by 3 is clear to everyone. So a number is divisible by 4 when the number formed by its digits in tens and ones place is divisible by 4. What does it mean? Let us see an example. Suppose we have a number 8, 8, 3, 1, 2. The tenths place of this number is 1 and the ones place is 2 and the number that is formed from the digits at the tenths and the ones place is 12. Since 12 is divisible by 4, therefore the given number is divisible by 4. Okay, now let us see the divisibility by 5 which is quite easy. If we say a table of 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20, we see that the multiples of 5 either ends with a 0 or they end with a 5. Fine. So any number which has the ones digit as 0 and 5, that number is divisible by 5. Example 7, 5, 3, 2, 5. The last digit is 5. Or maybe 7, 5, 3, 2, 0. The last digit is 0. So all such numbers which ends with a 5 or a 0 are divisible by 5. Let us see a couple of more divisibility rules. Divisibility by 6. 6, if we write it in the terms of prime factors, product of prime factors, 6 can be written as 3 times 2. So any number that is divisible by 3, any number which is divisible by 2 and by 3 is divisible by 6. Okay, let us take a number 8, 5. 806. First we will check the divisibility by 2. So it's an even number. Since it's an even number, it is divisible by 2. 
and to check the divisibility by 3 we will have to add the digits so we'll do 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 0 plus 6 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 21 plus 6 27 since 27 is divisible by 3 the number is also divisible by 3 and hence the number is divisible by 6 divisibility by 8 divisibility by 8 says that the number formed by the last three digits should be divisible by 8 okay we will take an example 5 4 1 3 6 this is the number which is formed from last three digits now if we try dividing 136 by 8 8 ones are 8 we are left with a 5 8 sevens are 56 and we get a remainder 0 so 136 is completely divisible by 8 and hence 5 4 1 3 6 is divisible by 8 if the number that is formed from the last three digits is not completely divisible by 8 then we can say that that given number does not pass the divisibility test of 8. Divisibility by 9 is very same as divisibility by 3. Same as the divisibility test by 3. Add all the digits and the sum should be divisible by 8. Not 8 sorry the sum should be divisible by 9. Let us see an example 3888. We will add the digits 3 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 3 is 24 plus 3 27. 27 is divisible by 9 and hence the number is divisible by 9. And the last divisibility test for this video is divisibility by 11. Okay. Any number is considered to be divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits in the odd place and sum of the digits in even places is either 0 or a multiple of 11. We have to do the divisibility by 11. So we will add the digits at the odd places. The so 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 5 which gives us an 11. And we will add the digit at the evens place. So 8 plus 9 plus 5 which gives us a 12. Oh sorry 22. We have to find the difference. So 22 minus 11 gives us an 11. And we know that 11 is a multiple of 11. And hence the given number is divisible is a multiple of 11 and hence the given number is divisible by 11. Let us take one more example 1 3 4 3 1. Let us add the digits at the odd places. So 1 plus 4 plus 1 gives us a 6 and the digits here gives us 3 plus 3 which is again a 6. 6 minus 6 gives us a 0. Our condition says that the difference should either be 0 or a multiple of 11. Since we are getting the difference as 0, we can say that this number is divisible by 11. I hope all the divisibility tests are clear to everyone. If you have any doubts regarding these divisibility tests, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.